Hey everybody, it's Laney. The project I want to talk to you about today is actually not really woodworking, but woodworking related. Now I don't have a branding iron or a wood burner to mark my projects as you know handcrafted by me or made by me or my name. Uh, a lot of times I used to when I make a project I would sign it with uh, some type of uh, paint pen or something. I started etching brass plates um, <clears throat> with a little design that I, I made up that says handcrafted you know by me. The printing on the paper is reversed uh, because when you transfer this image onto the brass plate you want it to be able to read correctly so when you print it out on your computer uh, you want to print it in mirror image or, or reverse. Um, what you'll need for the project is of course a brass plate. Uh, you can get this at any hobby store, hardware store, um, or the like. And this brass plate is uh, 1 seconds, 1 seconds of an inch thick. Uh, and I cut it to size. Usually my brass plates are small, you know, squares that I um, will round off the edges and do a nice little decorative touch when it's all done uh, to mount on my project. Now the best way to etch brass is with ferric chloride. And uh, ferric chloride is not readily available everywhere. However, um, you can go to Radio Shack, if there's a Radio Shack near you or, or, or close by, and pick up what they uh, sell there and it's called PCB etching solution and the main ingredient in this is ferric chloride. Um, the PCB etching solution is what they use to etch um, circuit boards and everything. Well it's also uh, you know can be used for etching these brass plates. So once again ferric chloride you'll need to take your image or your design or whatever your brand is going to be Print it out on your computer and um, mirror image. And then the major step is, and, and let me explain this to you, go, go to your local copy store, uh, Staples or, or, or where, what have you, and um, have them print or copy this image onto transparent film because the uh, Xerox machines uh, the used toner and the toner when it transfers onto the brass it acts as a resist to the chemical so everything around that toner is going to get etched away leaving your image or your brand raised up a little bit uh, it'll etch all the metal away around it and it'll leave you a nice little raised edge uh, you know image and then you can decorate it however you want. so transparent film Xerox machine on a Xerox machine unless you have a Xerox machine at home or you know uh, access to one in your office or something take your image copy it onto some transparency film make sure it's also you know in reverse image in which it'll 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 copy the same way it is on your actual printout that's printed on your computer and um, then uh, get started with the project and I'll show you how it's done right now first thing you want to do is your transparent film is you want to cut out one of your brands and it doesn't matter how big you cut it out or you know you don't have to be perfect uh, with it and um, and now when you transfer it on there it's actually it's going to read correctly it was printed on this side where it's in mirrored image so when you put it down on your brass plate um, it'll read correctly and um, go ahead and, and place it anywhere on your brass plate that you want I always use my whole brass plate and I then I once I transfer the image I cut it out to you know that particular plate this plate this plate and I'll show you how that's done here later but um, what you need to do to transfer this is make sure that your brass plate is you know clean somewhat clean um, I use a little bit of mineral spirits on my rag 
and uh, just to get any oils or fingerprints on off of it and then I place my image on the brass and then you want to take an iron household iron guys you you do not really want to use your wife or your girlfriend's iron because um, a couple of times of doing that and you'll end up sleeping in the shop what you want to do is set your iron to its highest setting and make sure that you know it's nice and warmed up ahead of time <laughs> and you're going to iron basically this transfer on and the heat is going to transfer that toner from the transparency film right onto the brass plate you don't want to rush this process you want to make sure you get a good transfer and you do not want your image to move while you're doing the transfer and how I prevent that is I take a little bit of blue tape and I tape it in place with uh, that blue tape. So place your image on, put a little piece of tape on. I always cut my image out a little bit bigger just so I have room to put the tape. Once the image is in place, oops, I have a crooked image there in that. Make sure it's straight or how, you know to, to how you want so you have a nice end result. Once it's in place and your iron is hot, first thing you want to do is you want to set the iron on there for a few seconds just to get the materials heated up uh, so the transferring process will start. Get it nice and heated up and get yourself uh, an empty bowl. Um, uh, a shallow bowl is fine and one that you can you know uh, pretty much maneuver around and see. Uh, I always use an old Tupperware bowl or something that, that I have and you want to pour in your etching solution and you only want to pour in enough to cover your brass plate. You don't want to rush this process. Um, you want a good transfer from the trans transparency paper uh, film to your brass plate so you want to uh, you know in this particular step you want to take a little extra time to get to get it right uh, I take the nose of the iron and I rub it all across the image to make sure that I'm getting a nice transfer and then I'll set the iron on there because you want to heat up both materials so that toner will transfer over real well and you can check your progress now remember the brass plate is going to be hot because you've just ironed it but uh, you can check your progress by peeling up one of the corners and checking and seeing how your transfer is doing and my transfer is almost done it, it doesn't take very long but you want it you want to make sure that you get a nice clean transfer now make sure and I, I went ahead and added a second piece of tape to, to really hold this thing in place because when you're peeling it up to look at your progress and it lays back down you don't want it to shift any or it'll smear and it'll blur basically blur the whole image and, and just you'll have to start all over if that happens uh, wipe you know peel off that uh, transparency film wipe off the toner with mineral spirits and uh, then cut you out another piece and start again. You'll, you'll notice that the corners of the transparency film will start to curl up and that's you know that's good because it's basically separating the ink. That's looking real good. All the steps down to uh, this particular project in a 15 minute timeline. So we're going to conclude for here for now and we'll pick up in another video um, if you look at my youtube channel the link to uh, part two of how to make a brass nameplate will be there i'll also put a link to it um, inside this video so stay tuned and uh, we'll get right back to it and finish this plate up